What up, it's your girl Minna. In this video, you are going to spend the day with me. I know this is my first time doing this, but I'm very excited to be able to take you along with me on my day. First things first, I wanna make sure I take my vitamins. So special shout out to Ali for sponsoring this section of the video. It's 2021 and I gotta be honest, I don't always take my vitamins. Like, you know, I'll eat my food. I'm not always thinking about what's in it. Am I getting the right nutrients? That kind of a thing. So in addition to eating right and drinking my water, exercising, that kind of thing. I also am supplementing with these vitamins. So let me show you what I have. So first I have the glowing skin vitamins from Ollie and these are so, so good. It's for hydrated youthful skin. It's got hyaluronic acid, collagen, and sea buckthorn. Never heard of that, but these are so good. So I just started using these and I feel like these are going to really give me even better, softer, supple skin. So I'm actually going to take two of these right now. Dosage is two. And aren't these so cute like look at the detailing on the vitamins how cute okay so i'm gonna take two of these right now so good so two of those i'm also taking the hair vitamins from ollie these ultra soft gel vitamins obviously i wear units obviously i do my hair in all different hairstyles all the time but that does not mean that i don't care for my hair underneath the units hello i do like to make sure that my hair beneath the units and the styles is well taken care of so these vitamins are supposed to promote strong and healthy hair it's got biotin, keratin, silicone, copper, and folic acid in it. And there are 30 soft gels in this one. So I'm going to take the one soft gel right now. And this is what that looks like. And then I've heard so much about melatonin. I can't lie. I've never taken it. And I've also always felt like it was a gimmick. It was like, if you can't sleep, what is this melatonin going to do for the body? I can't lie, that's just the honest truth. But I'm also taking these sleep gummies from Ollie, and it's to help promote a healthy sleep cycle. And I'm one of those people who have now been proven wrong. Girl, I took these one day while I was editing and I wasn't quite ready to go to sleep. Tell me why I started feeling like really relaxed. I was like, wait, so there really is something to these gummies. Like there really is something to this. Really, really yummy. So those are the vitamins that I'm gonna be taking all throughout the year. And I'm grateful for Ollie for partnering with me on this section of the video. Now let's get into what I'm doing today. Okay, so I have some packages that came in. First of all, I just finished a, uh, an awesome phone call with a fellow creator, Tiff Benson. So excited to partner with her on something really, really fun that's coming your way. So stay tuned for that. I'm like propping you up. I can't lie, my intention today was to do my makeup. <laughs> that didn't happen. <laughs> But I did put this wig on for you, so I'm sure you're gonna enjoy this. But I'm gonna show you a few things that I'm working on, how I edit my videos, that kind of thing, that I think if you're interested in the behind the scenes of what it is to be an influencer, you might find it be quite interesting. So first of all, I got a few packages in. What we got over here? Oh, Sephora. Okay, so I ordered some stuff from Sephora, right? And they came in two different packages. One of them was a Fenty Matte Moselle lipstick. It was the one Freckle Fiesta, really, really cute. Still need to wear it. Ooh, good. So I ordered two more of these Laneige lip sleeping masks. If you follow me on IG, which you really should be if you're not already, then you know that I've talked about these time and time again. I got two different fragrance fragrances, two different flavors of them because they smell so good. And they're very, very, very hydrating. Love them. They're great for overnight, but I can't lie. I wear these during the daytime because again, like I said, they're just that amazing. Here's the sweet candy one. I'm sure it smells so good. You know, I love pink too. Ooh, this smells so good. Nice and subtle too. Love that for me. If you love a nice occlusive lip balm or just like, you just don't like your lips to be dry like me. <laughs> you need these, okay. This one is lemon sorbet. Let's check this one out. It's light, like almost, like I can't even smell anything, but I'm sure when I use it, I'll smell something. Ooh, and let me also show you, I got my my stuff in from Juvia's Place. My sister, not blood, but she's my gunna sister. Gunna sister, you know? Vanessa's collab with Juvia's Place, it came in. So gorgeous. This is her Vanessa palette with JP. Absolutely phenomenal, very stunning colors. I cannot wait to use this. I'm definitely going to use it on IG, but if you want to see it here on YouTube, please let me know. And then I got two of her glosses, Legit Nude and Naomi. Did you get these? I want you to comment and let me know if you did because they're just like amazing, you know? Okay. Oh, and there's one more Mademoiselle lipstick in here. I almost threw the box away. Hi. <laughs> in my joint how are we gonna do that uh -uh. that is not okay hold on this is 
up to no good. Is this an orange? Girl, they were on sale. I was just buying them. This is up to no good. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, it's a pinky nude. Okay, <laughs> up to no good is a pinky nude. That's cute. Ooh, yes. I love a nude. I love a nude. I actually posted today saying that on IG that I really always gravitate toward nudes. And I know that I need to like venture out and do other things, but if it's working for me, what's the problem? You see, what's this package? Oh, my nails. You know, I get my nails from AliExpress. You can also get them on Amazon if you just don't want to wait that long. These nails came in, love these. Look at that, so beautiful. I do press-ons. If you follow me on IGTV, then you know that. These are some press-ons. Love a good press-on nail set. I do the videos of me putting the press-ons on, on IGTV, so you gotta watch it there. I got five of these, really, really cute. Okay, I ordered these glasses from AliExpress. These are kind of cool. Look at that. Hold on a second. Hold one. Like Monica would say, hold one. Hi. These are different. Differente. There's no prescription in these. I do wear contacts and glasses, so I will take these to my eye doctor and get my prescription put in them. These are cute. Oh, I ordered some loungewear from Target. <laughs> if you're like me, you're buying all kind of stuff. And you're at home. Wait, why? Oops. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, at home. So they really rolled this stuff up. I would have never realized this big old thing was in there. Oh, okay. This is a sweatshirt type thing. I like to buy my stuff big at, at Target. I don't like it. In general, I don't like loungewear to be like yoking me up. I want to be free, you know, let my gut out a little bit. I don't want to be all like sucked up in the outfit. So I just got this, this uh, sweat top kind of thing. It's 2XL. What's cute is it just like cinches at the side. I think that's cute because with me, I have hips and otherwise it would just look like a balloon where my stomach area is big and then it's like sucks the hips in i'm into all that this with a cute easy pair of leggings and maybe some slippers i'm gonna put a chale wetty on the bottom is cute to just lounge around is this the same thing oh <laughs> I got it in black and I got it in gray. I do have leggings and stuff that I can just wear with this. It's cute. It's just like a cute lounge around type thing. I like my stuff big, oversized. Like I said, I have more stuff that's just not here right now. It's on its way in a different package, I suppose. Oh, my shapewear. I'm <laughs> like, what? Oh, so Redefine, if you're not following her, you need to. Redefine on IG, she wears shapewear and she shared about, oh my God, oh my God. Is this gonna fit me? Wow, it actually has underwire right here. That's cool. Ooh, this is gonna suck me in. <laughs> This is gonna suck me in. She shared this shapewear, she by, I almost said she by Sheree. She by shape, shape by she. And they were having a half off sale, girl. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. This is really gonna suck me in. I can't wait to put it on. <laughs> And that is, I got it in a size XL to double XL. And look at how, look at the size of it. I look forward to wearing this, but I can't lie. It looks kind of small. Okay, I look forward to that. Butt lifter panty. Is that a butt lifter? <laughs> I don't need a butt lifter. This is a butt lifter because of the way it sits. I guess because it sits on the hip, it'll accentuate the arch of the back. I don't know. I don't need all of that. <laughs> ah! I just sent this IGTV ID story frames, frame that I made. It'll all make sense in a second. I just sent it to my phone because I'm gonna post it right now. And this is part of a sponsorship. So here's what it looks like. And I have been trying to figure out for the longest time how people made their IG stories like this. And I could not figure it out until I saw Aaliyah's face show us in her vlog. And I was like, oh my God, girl, thank you so much for showing us. Cause I had no idea how to do this. So if you don't know how to do this, let me know, comment below and I can make another vlog and I'll show you how how I do it, but it is really so brilliant. Once she showed us, I was like, oh, that makes so much sense. Now, in order to do all of this stuff, honestly and truly, just to be an influencer in general, unless you have the money to bring on people to help you, you really gotta be self-sufficient. You really gotta know what, what incarnation you're doing when it comes to all things tech. Just really all things everything, honestly, because there's a lot of just figuring it out that goes on and you just need to know what incarnation you're doing. So right now I have that ready to post on my IG story and I'm gonna attach the swipe up link that has to go with it. I have that already. I need to edit the caption of the YouTube video that is about to go up. So now let me go to my YouTube creator studio. For my channel, yeah, I wanna entertain, but I also wanna teach. I like when people are, are learning from my content. So I hope that this is another iteration of a learning video for you. Make sure you watch it, you know, I'm teaching you how to make color work on your eyes. All right, so now I'm linking everything for my 
YouTube video and I'm using magic links. I'm not sure if you've heard of them or used them at all. If you are an influencer, comment below and let me know, are you an influencer and are you just curious and you're just taking all the information in? But I like to use magic links. It's just easy. I have the Chrome extension on my computer. So it's just a matter of going to the website that I want to link and then clicking a quick button. And if that website is part of the program, I will know. And then I can get a link that I put in my content, whatever content that is, and then I can monetize on it. I get a commission off of it. So whenever you see a link that an influencer is using, it's more than likely a commission link. And there's nothing to hide about that at all. We do hard work. So if we're gonna share this link with you, <laughs> We need to get a commission, okay? Praise the Lord. Like, what? Yes. This is a whole vibe, you see? So people should want to support their favorite influencers if they're using a link. If you're going to buy the product, why not use my link? Like, oh, it's actually public. Let me show you. It's already public. Awesome. Let's view it on YouTube. Here's the video. It's your girl, Minna. In this video, we are going to be Come on, going okay, over how to make a cool oh, bless the Lord. <gasps> on brown skin. I know that oftentimes Wait. it can feel like- Oh my God, no. Oh no. That is the worst. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> That mistake was not here. I looked at this video and did not see that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now I need to copy this caption. Oh my gosh. Like, wow. <laughs> Oh, this is the worst. Okay, I... So sometimes I would clean out my stash in terms of the original footage of the video that I've just edited, the edited version of the footage, the backup versions of it, the render files, all of the different files that end up coming out of a video that has been edited. Sometimes when I've uploaded it, I will just get rid of everything. And that's because I need to make space on my computer. I've got several drives. I still just like to get rid of things because I just like to clean. Thank the Lord. Or Jehovah that I did not get rid of this video because that plugin like that is not gonna fly for me. It's not just because the video is sponsored, just in general, that is so hideous. So now look, here's, okay, so here's the video and I've not done anything to this. So let's see if the plugin acts up right now too. Okay, this is where the plugin is right here. This, this YouTube, whatever. Let's see if it acts up right now. <sighs> Don't tell me it has to render. Okay, so there's supposed to be a plugin right there. Let's see. We are going to be going over how to make a bold eye look. So see how the plugin had no issue? There's no red error screen. So that tells me that in post, in post, when I downloaded it, rendered the video, somehow, some way in post, it got messed up. Oh my goodness. And this is the kind of stuff where if you don't double check your videos before pressing upload, like what? Oh, I knew there wasn't an issue when I downloaded it because I would have caught that. I look at my videos several times over before I render them, before I upload them, before I press post. Like what? <sighs> so this is a plugin. The first one is fine. Over how to make a bold eyelid. Okay, there's another one right here. Let's make sure that this one is fine because when, when there's a plugin issue like this, you want to make sure that every single one of them is fine because God forbid the ones in the beginning are okay, but then you might have a plugin at the end that fails to render and it just looks sloppy and I'm not about sloppiness. Wow and wow. All right, so this one looks like it's working. See, now it's like the video has to still render. God. Only takes me so far. So I'm gonna use a flat synthetic brush to apply this. Not Wait, how did this happen? Now the yo, the devil's trying to play me right now. How did this sound get so loud? Since when? The music was never supposed to be this loud. What? I like to keep my music at like 23, 25. How, why were why was this up so high? Since when is this ever up that high? No freaking way. Okay, so let me go down to 20. 25 so that all of the volumes match you know nobody wants to be watching a video and then the volume is just too loud on the music like come on this is rendering so slowly welcome to the real life welcome to the real life okay so now i just put it back to 25 let me double check this plugin right here <laughs> so i'm gonna use a flat synthetic all right that one's fine 
Then I have one last tone one. is how deep or how light. We should all be able to. Okay, they're all fine. Ugh. Oh, so I need to re-render this. Okay. Ooh, I'm going to re-render this in 4K. Then I have to re-upload Wowzers. Okie dokie. Well, there's that. Okay, so now it's evening time. Excuse me. Dry lips. So, whoa. Got my Laneige lip sleeping mask that I got in the mail earlier. Thank God, because my other one was finished. Definitely need a lot of this All right now. I feel a lot better. Okay, a few things. First of all, ooh, my skin feels kind of dry. Okay, so the key to skincare is you want to make sure that your skin does not get dry. So what I've been doing lately is I put an essence. It's a it's a plastic bottle. It's not breakable, so I have it in my shower. I put that on my face in the shower after I wash my face so that in the time between when I go in the closet, I lotion my body, and I come and sit down, my skin does not get dry. Now, normally, I'll spray essence sprays on my face, but that evaporates. Whereas with the essence that I actually put on my skin, my skin may look look a little bit matte to you but when I touch it there's a little bit of a tug so it does feel a little bit hydrated than if it were to be just spray with an essence and it evaporates off the skin it makes a difference if you try it you'll know what I mean but I still want to spray an essence of some sort on my skin because it is a really good practice to keep so this is the 107 just some more extra hydration oh my gosh so update on the video it took me hours i kept rendering it checking it and that error screen kept coming up so i had to unattach if you edit videos i had to unattach the fx factory plugin and then reattach it and then i restarted my computer then i restarted final cut pro all of those things to finally be able to render it and then the attachment was actually there so that was over several hours and i finally posted the video so the video is up and it's a really great video in my opinion you really should watch it with dilemma right what a dilemma that, that's just not even the half so i rotate in the nighttime between my curology acne treatment which has clindamycin tretinoin which is retinol oh and and niacinamide so I rotate between that and so on on and off days then I'll use the Pond's skin tightening serum this has retinol in it so I rotate in between so that one is just not too harsh for my skin and sometimes if I'm feeling kind of like like I feel like my skin's in a good place I might just go to my other serum which I'll use after this one okay so here's the skin tightening serum drugstore affordable I've used it for several months now if you follow me on IG then you have seen me talk about this several times really really good and you want to make sure you avoid the eye area when you're applying your active serum so an active serum is one that will provide some sort of treatment and this one is an active serum so you would want to make sure it doesn't go in the eye area you want it to be you know you place it around the eye area definitely can do the neck and the chest i've skipped it on the chest a few times for actually for a while i skipped applying to my chest because i do have eczema and i get flare-ups on my neck and chest quite often so for a while i was feeling like it was it, the skincare products that I was using is what was causing the flare-ups, but really it, my skin was just dry. So I've been working on maintaining the hydration on my body. I forgot to do this, but I normally like to do my eye cream first because I don't want to get this serum, the active serum on my eyes because it can be really strong, but here we are, okay? So I'm going to use this first A Beauty Retinol Eye Cream. Put a little bit of this on the ring fingers and tap onto the eyes. These fingers tend to be really delicate, so I like to use these when I'm applying my eye cream. And just start on the outside and just blend it in. Just put it in place and let it melt, absorb into the skin, and go to work. I used to feel like I needed to like rub it all the way in. No need. Put it where it has to go and it'll go to work and do what it has to do. So you want to make sure you're doing your eye cream on a continual basis. For some, they feel like they don't need an eye cream. To be honest, if you spray your face with a hydrating mist, it's going all over the face. So in actuality, my eyes were actually hydrated before I even did the eye cream, but I have a lot of products, so why not, okay? So in my little setup here, I got this little tray from Home Goods, but I have my morning skincare on the top and then my evening skincare on the bottom. So on the bottom, I've been using this Pacifica Clean Shot Hyaluronic Acid Serum, Hyaluronic and Flowers. It really leaves the skin feeling tacky. I finished my Hyaluronic Acid Serum from The Ordinary. That stuff is so good. Wow. And really affordable. It is just it just leaves the skin so tacky, which I just love about Hyaluronic Acid. And really what you want to do is make sure you follow up really quickly with the moisturizer. The last thing you want to do is put a Hyaluronic Acid Serum on your face and nothing else. You want to really lock it in. 
by putting a moisturizer on top. So here is this. Let me just go down to my chest. Hopefully I won't have any breakouts, but I'll also bring my moisturizer down there. So we're good. The neck and the chest and the hands show signs of aging. So also put your skincare on your hands too. It's the back of the hands that we do want to make sure we keep nice and hydrated and healthy looking. Oh, and like to set the vibe, I always burn a candle. It's like so relaxing. Just what I do at night when I do my nighttime skin routine. I just love all of it. I have my iPad here. I'm normally watching a show, watching something on YouTube, listening to a podcast, listening to music, any number of things. I have this little station right here on my bathroom counter where all of it goes down and I really enjoy it. So this is like a whole vibe for me. It's quiet now, obviously, because hello, monetization. Duh. But normally I have something going. Okay, so I have a lot of options for, for a nighttime moisturizer. I'm going to finish this Tula probiotic moisturizer and it's just about done actually. So let's put this on. I do sleep with a humidifier, okay, because that helps to keep the air in the bedroom moist because whether you have on a fan, air condition, or heat, it dries out the air and that helps so I don't wake up with dry skin. It's like I've seen a difference for sure. So the final step in the skincare routine for the evening time is an oil to seal it all in. It's a rose hip seed is it rose hip seed yeah rose hip seed oil and this really is supposed to lock in ooh, all the hydration it's really greasy <laughs> i do my best to sleep on my back but that obviously changes after i'm asleep i wake up and i'm like Ugh, my cheeks are all dry because all my product is now on my pillow i do sleep with a satin pillowcase that is very important for the hair and the skin. Very, very key for extra intense hydration. And of course I have a lot on my fingers, so I'm gonna put some on my elbows and of course the hands because you know, you can't let this hydration go to waste. If you follow me on IG, then you know how important the fragrance is to me as well. I was actually playing around with some Jo Malone samples that I have. So I'm going to use this sample right here from Jo Malone. This is what wild bluebell i like it jackie Ina taught the girls to do it and i actually saw a video on this too do the inner elbow and i had a bad habit of rubbing it together you know how you've just seen people do that we're not supposed to do that apparently so behind my legs but i'm also going to spray i know they say you're not supposed to spray fragrance on your neck because it's very sensitive the alcohol could dry it out the skin on your neck is very thin but i'm just like you need to really just have it right here you know like oh you're not supposed to rub it in okay 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 i'll just like leave it and let it drip and dry whatever it smells really good i want to do the wrist as well let me do the oh, i just rubbed it oh i'll have to learn how to stop doing that and then one last step with the hair i don't grease my hair every day that's just not what I do. I maintain my hydration with lots of co-washes. I have a separate video coming your way about that so comment below if you're excited about that kind of video. What I do do is maintain the moisture on my edges so I again I do a lot of co-washes and right now for instance I co-washed the edge of my hair to get the got to be glue out. I don't normally sleep with like old got to be glue on my head. You know when I'm in the shower I just wash my hairline then I wash my face right. I'm not gonna wash my face and then co-wash my hairline and have conditioner on my face not okay for your pores oh excuse me um, okay okay so this thing is like foil kind of material and it breaks and creases easily i'll link it below it's a hair fertilizer i got on amazon whatever it's product i'm not gonna waste it so i'm still using it now as you can see i'm just like gunking it on this is not meant to be cute and sexy it just is meant to work okay so focus here on the hairline because this is the most manipulated part of my hair because i lay my hairline down for my units I do my own hair. It's what I prefer. Love a new style. I hate being bored looking the same for 20 years in a row. So that's just what I do and that's just what I love. So the co-washes help to keep my hairline and my hair in general hydrated. I put this on. I can't tell you it's every night. It's not. It's like every time that I think about it. Then I have these turbans that I got from Amazon that I love. So African and African print inspired. This doesn't really come off if I unless I don't sleep too. So I got these in a four pack. They're really, really cute, you know, and you can wear this to go out, obviously, with your hair and style, whatever you feel. Or you know, around the house, to bed, what have you. So now I'm going to bed. Thank you for spending the day with me. I hope that you learned a thing or two, that you were entertained. At least you got to see the behind the scenes of me 
<laughs> as an influencer in long form. Usually I do this stuff on my IG stories, but it's much more abbreviated so that you got a longer version of it. I want you to comment below and let me know if this is the kind of video that you enjoy. Do you want me to, to film weekly vlog? I watch lots of vlogs on YouTube, so I'm intrigued to also join, join the club. Okay, so thanks for watching. Good night and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.